from a mine famous for the large Kerylites. I think some of the largest in, in the world uh, Kerylites of this species. Uh, little pyramids. Um, uh, Kamoya South 2 mine. Now what's interesting, look at the flat termination on that pyramid. So we're going to start, let's start on this angle. A little bit of matrix here, which is most likely uh, calcite. Go across on this angle. Go right across there. Here we have that termination again. Then when we go across the other side, I think this may very well be a floater with a little bit of matrix on it. So I don't know if I can comfortably call it a floater. Ah, oh, there is a little bit. Is that contact? No, that's actually a crystalline indentation over here. This uh, adds to the interest of the specimen. So it's actually crystalline right around. It's like a floater with a little bit of a dusting of of calcite on it. A uh, little bit of contact on that edge. Uh, let me just zoom in on that. All the way from uh, the uh, Katanga Copper Crescent, Kamoya South 2 mine. So how we display it is with the, with the flat heads on top. Let's go here. Uh, flat head across here as well. This is actually pretty nice flat head over here. Or that's actually the nice one. So I display it on a turntable going around like that with a bigger flat head. Let's have a look at that interesting indentation. Also, when you look on the uh, crystals, as we move them around on the reflections, there's almost Lemurian writings on these crystals, on the faces, as you move them around. Um, pitting would be crystalline in this case. Look at that. That intricate crystallization. A lot happening on these. Uh, not a very large piece, maybe double thumbnail, but a really, really exquisite example of, of Kerala from the Kamoya South 2 mine in the Katanga.